My electric gate wants revenge. Are you new to homesteading? Are you thinking about how to be more self-reliant? Interested in how to raise animals? How to grow your own food? Or how to preserve food? Do you like the outdoors? Do you like pets? Do you like animals? Then welcome to Ranger Rob Country Living. Join Sherry and Rob as we learn new things, new equipment, and new techniques. Sometimes we have great fails and great success, but most of all, we're trying. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living channel. And no, I did not fix the gate. It has uh, got a mind of its own. So I went to only uh, the only place that could, could help me. And that's infamous YouTube uh, information center and found out more about this crazy gate. So uh, apparently I need to install this thing upside down. Really? And then down below is the controls. And then apparently I can adjust the how far this thing pushes and pulls. So uh, today, once it gets past freezing temperatures, because this gate only breaks when it snows or it's extremely cold. And so uh, mm -hmm. later today, we will attempt to uh, solve this issue with this crazy gate. So uh, in the meantime, I need to bring some wood pellets into the house. And uh, because it's cold today, Central Oregon is so <laughs> hot and cold, hot and cold. Can't decide what it wants to do. It's like, come on, just give us a few summer days. That's all we want. Anyway, let me go get pellets and then we'll be working on that gate later. Well, this love-hate relationship I get with this gate is getting better. So it turns out, I finally figure out where in this panel to find this. I actually went to one YouTube channel, so don't believe everything you see, where the controls were actually in the unit itself. And they said, turn the thing upside down and try to open it. And it's like, this is ridiculous. And then I found that there's a panel within a panel here. And that's where I found the controls to tweak how tight this thing pushes against um, the poles when it closes. It was pushing too far and then kicking back. So anyway, you manually bring it in and then uh, I'm guessing I have to hit the set limits. And uh, anyway, it worked. Yay. So uh, until the next time I have a, uh, a issue with this gate, <laughs> at least I'm beginning to understand how it works. So I think I'm going to say this time that the mission is accomplished if we can get the cover back on. So, yay. Okay, so I've gone around all the pipes and I put a little marker of all these where I want all these two inch holes to be. I got my uh, drill bit and uh, I'm going to attempt to try to do the drilling while they're on here, but I may have to change that. This depends. I've never kind of drilled this kind of pipe before so I may have to do a different technique but the less I have to disassemble the better so anyway let's start drilling these things because it's not going to get done if I don't start doing it and I'm hoping I can get away with a two inch hole so I do have bigger bits if I have to but I should be able to get away with a two inch hole so let's get started okay guys I got my first hole in there so uh, a couple of you guys have never done this before you got to be really careful but when this, when this grabs into the plastic it will want to torque you around. So you got to go calmly but it cuts through the pipe very easily. And it looks like I'll have to take a file and clean off the edges here. Uh, it does leave remnants. So, And then I'll, I'll probably just flush these uh, pipes out uh, to get all the uh, parts of the shavings. Uh, washed out of here, but yeah so far the first hole went pretty good. I'm gonna record this and hopefully not re uh, embarrass myself
And of course the other problem when you use one of these is you get the this caught in the middle so you want to keep a screwdriver around at least that's what I use and uh, the pry this out of here um, otherwise you, you just you got to take it out every time so this part of it all right so that wasn't too bad drilled all the holes and uh, the big thing now is I'm gonna take a little file and kind of clean up these holes the way I'm gonna clean this pipe out is just take an end cap and blow it out with air so it comes out the other side so that way I don't contaminate uh, my water too much so uh, I did find me a little round file and I'm gonna clean these up a little bit Wow looks like I'm actually getting somewhere so I actually got the tabs put in uh, the two inch holes look perfect um, it's looking really good and uh, just got to adjust everything a little bit and uh, get a shop back out here and uh, um, I got my compressor out here so uh, I'll blow out the tanks I'll blow out the pipes get them all cleaned out and then We'll be close to a water check. So yeah, so water check for that. Window for that this weekend. And uh, wow, we're getting really close. So <laughs> still got a mess in here. But wow, I feel good about that. Got all the main plumbing done. Uh, I still got to do a quarter inch or a half inch, I think it's half inch black tubing that will go all the way around to the end here that will have little jumpers off of it to run water into the buckets right now all the plumbing has been to get the water out of the buckets that'll be pretty easy I think so I'm um, not quite ready for that because I want I think I'm gonna wait until these buckets have uh, medium in them to make them a little heavier and uh, plus I gotta uh, adjust a few things here but yeah very cool Dutch bucket system so close well, today turned out to be a lot better day than yesterday. So, uh, I did want to show you really quick that my little tomatoes are coming up. Let's take a look. So, yeah, those are, those are coming up kind of quick. Um, everything else is doing all right. Uh, won't be too long. I'll have some tomato starters for the Dutch bucket. So, that's a good thing. So, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And uh, please, down in the comments, say hello. We'd love to hear from you. So guys, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.